if it goes public, my my company and I are are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but. <laughs> drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or divoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to, I think this is part eight, um, if I'm wrong, forgive me, of my uh, Metal Gear Solid um, Twin Snakes walkthrough. This is Toll House of Team Skyfire, and uh, we just finished uh, the boss fight with Ocelot. Uh, forgive me for uh, cutting out part of what Baker was saying. Uh, the cuts, the, I underestimated the length of the cutscene, so I had to cut part of it off. But hopefully most of it's, or probably only missed like two seconds of it, so don't bitch at me. Okay, so now we are moving on. We got some errands to run in the armory before we do anything else, alright? And if I'm correct, there should be a few guards, yeah, here. So we'll, we're going to need to take them out real quick. Yep. Hide the body. Here's good. Okay, we should be fine now. At least I think there's only two of them. Okay, this, you gotta be careful here. See, um, th these are what the cigarettes are for. You can see the infrared sensors. If you dare try to uh, run through here, you'll screw yourself over, because the alar the, uh, an alert mode will go on, and, um, and yeah, more sentries will come down and they'll come and kill you. So you wanna crawl through here. And here you'll find the box and the FAMAS machine gun. Oh shit, I'm, I didn't mean to do that. Don't do that. If you didn't kill the guards, like I did, or trank them, uh, the sound of that uh, that machine gun would have caused an alert. And I, I almost ruined my streak right there. 
but I shouldn't get very much alerts. In fact, I probably won't get any at all except for the ones you can't possibly avoid. And there's about four of them, I believe. So, but I definitely won't get any game overs. Okay, so now, um, remember what Baker was saying about, um, getting in contact with Meryl and that her number's on the back of the package? Well, nor most people wouldn't even think about that, but he's actually referring to the game cover. And if you look, it'll say one, f it'll say 140.15, and that's the codec. So we'll call Meryl right here. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? You're not even armed. I appreciate your help from before, but I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Hey, don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But they must have been test-firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, huh, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done, anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. 
How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh, yes you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake, I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya, but listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Okay, and we'll stop there. And thank you for watching um, this part of uh, my Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes uh, walkthrough. And uh, stay tuned for the next part.